Welcome back, Brotato. Welcome, plungers, and thank you for tapping in. Well, we've got a new festival playlist, so let's see what we got. We got the Ford Dark Horse. This is a car that everybody seems to be wanting to go after, so we're going to get that tonight, and we'll test it and review it. The Porsche Mission R, I already have that in my inventory, so I'll probably add that to the next episode. Uh, weekly challenge is the 2017 Alpine. Uh, own and drive. Uh, oh, so you got to get to 4.2 seconds, to zero to 60, I think. Um, you got to take a photo of it. And you got to earn five great speed skills. Really easy five points. Uh, the trial is uh, 2010's Fords. We'll get into that. We've got two Event Labs races. Hopefully there's no competition on it. If there is, you can lower your difficulty and win it. Throw your rewind on and win it. We won't make any videos about those because those are fairly easy to win. Um, we'll probably get into a couple of seasonal championships. We'll do the treasure clue, the photo challenge, and that should be it for both cars this week. And uh, we'll get to it. But for this particular episode, we're going to get into the DLC cars. The second tier of DLC cars, which is the Back to the Future cars. Since there are three cars, I made three builds for them. And if you're used to watching this channel, you're probably accustomed to see me making that U-turn to leave. But seeing as how this is the off-road version of the car... There's less need for me to do that. Like the uh, like Kit, it also gets a uh, seventeen fifty horses for the try hard version. But this is not that version. I think I have one of the lower engines, definitely here. But just to show you how good this car performs. And now, I'm kind of on the fence about my decision to have done the Knight Rider car first. Whoops, went right off the track. Let's just say I meant to do that. Went off the track again. All right, let's get a good circuit going so I can demonstrate the efficacy of this car. I'm telling you, every version of this car is really good. These right here make it worth it worth the money also just this one if they are just giving us this car for nine bucks with the amount of stuff you could do to it i'd say it's worth it if you got the money man wow if spending nine bucks is a struggle for you i get it but They give us enough content. And they want to make a little bag. I get it. We want the next game to be good. So I'll do what I can to contribute to that. But as you can see, this thing is special for off-roading. Oh wow! I thought I, I thought I def, definitely skilled my way through that, through that gap right there, but I guess not. All right, let's jump into my drift version because I really knocked this one out of the park. I, I think I did. I think I did. Definitely knock this one out of the park. Where is my drift version? There it is. 
And as you can see right there, I've got another version of it too. That's my full beans version. We're gonna get to that one in a minute, but let's check out the drift version because I have been practicing and I've been getting a little bit better. Okay. With uh, all my cars, I like to make them also drivable in addition to what they are. You know, I like... So this is a drift car. But I like to make it also drivable as a regular car. But as you can see... It performs great in whatever capacity or tuning you set it up for. And I told you, I've been practicing. I'm still, I'm still getting the hang of it. How to how to get the angles dialed in. You gotta set up the turns better. You gotta be mindful of it. There it is, changing gears for me again. Here we go, let's catch a good one here. No, no, no! Oh. Okay, at least I didn't crash. But yeah, guys, man, come on. Just look at the car, first of all. This is the one that I didn't, that I didn't change the color or designs on. I know you can see it lighting up. Which is crazy. But the drift version of this car is elite. And I'm not even a drifter. Woo! Oh, you thought I was going to hit the highway, huh? Nope. Let's get it. 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 crash I was waiting for. All right, let's jump into the next one, which is the full beans version. Oh, okay. Since I pushed Forza Vista by accident, let's check it out. I mean, they just made a replica of the movie parts that they added to the car. Like, like these aren't real parts. They just made it look really good, even though those do look like capacitors. I don't know what flux capacitors look like, but those do look like capacitors. Let's check out the inside. Wait a minute. No. Nah. I do want to exit photo mode, but I do want to get into the car. So let's get in here. Oh, the gull wing doors. Let's, let's stop pressing photo mode. And let's get into the car. Uh, let's get into the car. Let's get into the car. I would like to get into the car. Can I get into the car? Please, can I get into the car? 
I cannot get into the car? Is that really a thing? That I can't get into it? I can open the door, but I can't get into it? I can't open this door? I didn't expect to be able to do anything to the trunk, but why give me the option to open the door if I can't get into the car? Well, anyway, let's get into the other one and test out the full beans version. Full beans! But before we do, let me just show you my tuning capability, okay? In case you guys doubt me. So my tuning is 965, right? Let's find a tuning setup that's better, shall we? No. He got a better zero to 60, but he also has drag tires, so he can't make any turns. No, 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 no. Oh, he's got a good uh, zero to 60 also. I might make a drag setup to this as well, but none of these are, are beating mine, man. You got a B-Class in there. You do have a B-Class, so there might be an event this week that uh, allows you to... Oh, no, that was made on the 18th, so that might not be an event. Or there might be an event you can use it for. So it might be a good tuning for you guys. So these guys are getting really, really high 0 to 60 times with the drag tires, which is fine. But um, the lateral Gs suck at the end of the day. Oh, he got slicks. Here's the drags. The lateral Gs suck. 0.98, that's terrible by comparison. So, you know, check out my tunes, man. I got you guys. I'm, I'm going in there and I'm giving you the best possible tunes for every category. And I think that's going to be the theme of, of the channel. I, mean, I joke around that I'm a master of driving. But I think my... I think my, my real gift is tuning. Just making these cars more drivable. And as you can see, it's a beast, a beautiful beast. I went with the Vanta Black because I feel like the lights stand out more. And since this is the original, let's see if we can see the inside now. I mean, yeah, it's, it's nice. It is nice. So this is going to take us to 1972. If the flux capacitor ever starts working. Sometimes you can pull your way from like, so I, almost, I went off road and I almost killed myself. So you can fix yourself with a little lift off of the gas, point yourself in the right direction to hit the gas again, just like I did right there. We're gonna have driving classes also too, but. I wanna focus on the tuning until everybody is solid, until I feel like the course is completed and everybody that looks at my channel will be able to tune their cars as good as they possibly can get. That's my goal. So everybody could be really good at the game. And it starts with the ability to tune the cars more so than the driver. Because if the car is undrivable, no amount of driving will, will help you get better. You know, or have better results in races or whatever. But this is the uh, 280 mile per hour version. Now, if somebody has the uh, has kit. My my gamer my gamer tag is all over my channel. So, if you have kit, I'd like to race kit against. Uh, the DeLorean. Full beans. See which one is faster. That would be something I would be definitely interested in. And you could be part of the next video. Or a next future upcoming video. 
Because I'd like to see, like, they have similar engines. And I would like to put, like, the exact same tuning on both cars and see which one performs better. But that's my goal. So that's all I got for now. I'll be back around 6, 7 p.m. with everything you need for this playlist today. I mean, if I could get it done earlier, I'll shoot for 2, 2 or 6 p.m. So stay tuned, guys. And as usual, thanks for tapping in. And yeah, again, these cars are definitely worth it. The Back to the Future, you get three distinctive looking cars. I mean, they could have made them all kits, body kits, but I like the idea of having three different cars, to tell you the, the perfectly honest truth. And as a bonus in this evening's video, um, I'm also gonna review the Jurassic Park Jeep, which is also part of this. And maybe a bonus from the Fast and the Furious DLC, which I never got around to. So once again, thank you guys for tapping in and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.